From the village of Gando in Burkina Faso, being the first child in his neighborhood attending school, to designing multiple schools for his hometown, to building an entire village in his home country, and to where he is today, Diabado Francis Kere is the 2022 winner of the Pritzker Architect Award and the first black person to ever achieve this. Born in Gando, a village in the central eastern region of the West African nation Burkina Faso, Diabado was born the first son of a village chief. There were no schools within the area, so his father sent him to live with his uncle in the city at the age of seven. For Kere, growing up was far from a bed of roses, where daily survival revolved around securing food and water. However, love and the comfort of a real community was prevalent. As a young student, he was crammed into a classroom of a hundred pupils. This experience gave Francis his earliest inspirations to enhance the educational lives of the nation's children using architecture. Upon finishing school, he became a carpenter and soon after, Diabedo ended up in Germany and went on to study architecture at the Technical University of Berlin where he earned his diploma in architecture in 2004. While studying towards his diploma, Mr. Kere never forgot where he came from and felt that it was his responsibility to contribute to his family and community that helped him. In 1998, he established the Kere Foundation to raise funds and support a child's right to a comfortable classroom. And in 2001, Francis designed his first building, a primary school in his home village of Gando. The school was built with significant participation from the local people who contributed to the labour and resources. It was mostly crafted by hand, directed by the architect's innovational forms of indigenous materials and modern engineering. The success of Gando Primary School awarded him the Aga Khan Award for Architecture in 2004. The Gando School later paved the way for him to design additional primary, secondary, post-secondary and medical facilities soon followed throughout Burkina Faso, Kenya, Mozambique and Uganda, providing academic education for children and medical treatment for the unwell, but by instilling occupational opportunities and abiding vocational skills for adults, therefore serving and stabilising the future of entire communities. Diebedo Francis Kere once said, Architecture is an instrument we can use to create better cities, to create space to inspire people, to create classrooms which inspire the best generation. One of the distinguishing markers of Mr Kere's work is his use of light, which was also noted by the Pritzker Prize Award facilitators. Poetic expression of light is consistent throughout his work. Rays of sun filter into buildings and courtyards. Francis Kelly is one of the most important names in sustainable architecture today and particularly famous for his preservation of traditional clay technologies and the community's architectural heritage. He promotes a sustainable community-centered approach to business which encourages education, culture and the development of those communities. Even using clay to build the first building that he had in Gando. As concrete would have been both expensive and highly unsuitable, becoming extremely hot in the high temperatures of Burkina Faso, Kere utilised clay which is both cheap and locally available in such a way as to promote its best qualities. The clay was protected with a wide tin roof raised up over the building to protect it from the rain and permit the air to circulate beneath, keeping temperatures low and providing an ideal learning environment for Gando's children. His work has expanded beyond school buildings in African countries to include temporary and permanent structures in Denmark, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, the United Kingdom and the United States. Honestly, Diebedo Francis Kere's work speaks for itself and you should check it out on his website which is down below in the description box. However, I want us to remember this. Just because Mr Kere is the first black person to be awarded by the Pritzker Prize Committee don't think that he is the only black architect to ever exist that is worthy of recognition. This is also the importance of having your own, so that you are able to award and champion your own.
Here is a list of black architects that also deserve recognition for their astounding work. David Adjaye, a Ghanaian British architect responsible for designing the National Museum of African American History and Culture in Washington, D.C. Norma Merrick Sklarik, one of the first African American women architects in the United States. She designed the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles and Terminal 1 of the Los Angeles International Airport. Julian Francis Ebele, he contributed to the design of more than 400 buildings, including the Widener Memorial Library at Harvard University, and he was the primary designer of the West Campus of Duke University. When pertaining to architecture, we could go all the way back to ancient African kingdoms like the Mali Empire, where the Great Mosque of the Djenne dates back to the 1200s, the Kingdom of Kush, which is modern-day northern Sudan, slash southern Egypt, dating back to 700 BC, the great Zimbabwean ruins going back to the 11th century, in Lalibela, Ethiopia, the rock-hewn churches also date back to the 12th century. But yes, we need to showcase this type of information to allow the black youth know that this is an avenue that they can go into. So much respect to Diabedo Francis Kede, and I really hope I'm saying his name correctly. He's an inspiration to many. Open your eyes and you will see the tribulations that